Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead. While presidential politics is heating up again with speculation about who Joe Biden will pick as his vice presidential nominee, he's appointing a panel. It's going to be put together by the end of the month. Numerous names have been floated, but the one that's catching fire now is former First Lady Michelle Obama. The former First Lady has never made her distaste of politics a secret. Valerie Jarrett, a former White House advisor in the Obama administration, says there's no chance she'll accept the nomination. However, these things take on a life of their own. Democrats love the possibility of Michelle Obama being the vice presidential nominee. She's seen as popular beyond the base of the Democrat Party. The party's base loves her. They feel she's sympathetic to their platform. But she also has popularity with the wider public, as evidenced by how well her memoir sold. She made public appearances that were well received. Democrats figure, too, she can do well among suburban voters, particularly women, many of whom did not support Hillary Clinton in 2016. They also believe she'll be very effective in attacking President Donald Trump. How well will she do on the campaign trail? We're going to probably find out in the months ahead. On the energy front, the crisis continues with oil prices, not helped by Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez saying it's a wonderful thing to see what's happened to oil prices. She did that in a tweet and she took it down with the criticism. She just doesn't understand, nor do many other understand, how critical oil and natural gas is to our modern economy. We couldn't exist without it. You think this economic contraction is bad? Wait to see what happens if we don't have that energy. We still need it. Moreover, she was quite callous, or quite crude in her callousness towards the hundreds of thousands of people employed in the energy industry. And it's not just big companies. Numerous independents provide the backbone in that industry, whether they're drillers or truckers, engineers, roustabouts, and others. These skilled workers, they're losing their livelihood, and their trouble is our trouble. That's why the administration must take action now. Suspend those royalty payments, those tax payments that oil companies, especially the independents, make to the government. They can collect it later when things are better. And also, banks must make loans right away, cash infusions to these independents who demonstrated solvency before the crisis. Their health is ultimately the economy's health. I'm Steve Forbes. Thank you for listening. Look forward to talking to you soon again.